Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com answering a question I got on my amazing lower thirds class by Emily. So she was wondering, she had built out her own lower third and she's about ready to export, but she has like 10 different interviewees and she was wondering what the most efficient way to do so was. Um, you know, what should she, what's the, what's my workflow when I have multiple interviewees with the same lower third. So in After Effects, I just quickly put this together, uh, really basic lower third, you know, I probably would have some motion or something with this text, but for this example, I don't need that. So what do I do when I need multiple lower thirds? Well, the first thing that you can do when you are going to export is basically, you know, you can just add your text. So like this is the first person. I would name, rename it, it interviewee one. You know, this is a little bit tedious, but just to keep things um, in order, you know, then description one. Then I would just duplicate it. So now it's already, already uh, named interviewee two and in, in, uh, description two. I'd move this up. I would take these two and make them disappear and then just change. So this is my evil brother, Paul Ebner, if I had a brother, <laughs> evil brother, Paul Ebner. And then I would put his description. He is a uh, evil brother. And you know, you can play around with the paragraph settings if you want this to be right justified, centered, etc. cetera. Um, and then, you know, do that for every individual person, make sure the sizing is right. You know, you might have to change the size of this text box each time you export, but then, you know, just go ahead and export. So I don't have to explain that. There's another video for that. Uh, but then, yeah, when you're exporting the first one, you know, just make sure these two are view viewable, the interviewee one and description one. And when that export's done, you can do these two. So that's a pretty efficient way to do it. Another way to do it, so I'm gonna get rid of these two, is to create uh, multiple um, compositions. So this is lower third one. I'm gonna take lower third two, just duplicate it by pressing Command D. And then I'm just gonna change this to Paul Ebner. Nice brother because this is not my evil twin brother, this is my nice brother. And so now you have two compositions, one for each lower third. You can then go ahead and export each of these, or you can use Adobe Dynamic Link. So say you have your Premiere project open. So this, I just have this red background, and this is your interviewee, interviewer, or whatever, your documentary. All right, so once you've finished editing all your lower thirds and you have them all as separate compositions, you can select all of them, click and drag, tab over to Premiere, so Command T to tab over to Premiere, and drop them in your project bin. So this is what Adobe Dynamic Link is. Now, if I bring those down to my, my composition or my sequence in, in Adobe Premiere, I can add all these lower thirds. The great thing about this is that if I want to change something in Adobe After Effects, then it automatically shows up in Premiere. So say I want to change this to Mean Brother. So I do that, and then in Adobe Premiere Pro, look it, it's already Mean Brother. And so Emily or whoever is watching, if you think you're gonna to have to make changes, I think this is the best route to go. It's the safest route. You know, just create a separate composition, just duplicate it, pressing Command D, and changing the text. So Emily and student. And now if I ever have to make a change to this, I can. I can just drag this over into Adobe Premiere Pro, drop it, and there you have it. That's a very easy, efficient, and smart way to create lower thirds for multiple people. 
Thank you for watching. Thanks for the question, Emily. Can you please like this video, send it to a friend, subscribe to the Video School Online channel, and check out videoschoolonline.com for more great tutorials. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.